Hello, my name is Charlotte. Thank you very much for watching. I am sure there is something that you would like to see on my channel. So please subscribe and you can see more. If you like what you're seeing so far, then give us a big thumbs up. Today I'm here to talk to you about my What I Wish I'd Known series, which is linked in a playlist below. And today the topic is What I Wish I'd Known About Miscarriage. I don't want to come across as being a bit blasé about things, so please let me know if I am. I would love your comments on if you've experienced anything like this, how you feel about it. Miscarriage for me was part of my conception story. I had three miscarriages before I was pregnant with my son and they all happened at different times and I had very different emotions surrounding them. Um, the first miscarriage happened, we had been trying for a baby and found out I was pregnant and I was really excited. Um, I was working in an office and there was another pregnant lady there who was just a bit ahead of me. and. Um, it was, it was just really exciting. I didn't tell anyone because I didn't want to kind of, well, I didn't tell anyone. Um, my friends didn't know, my mum knew, but other than that, no one else in my family knew and my husband's family didn't know. And I miscarried at about eight weeks, so really quite early on. Um, and I was devastated, absolutely devastated. It hit me really, really hard. Um, I kind of went off the rails for a bit, was, yeah, I just was distraught, absolutely distraught. And it really didn't help that my company that I worked for at the time then basically fired me because I'd had a miscarriage, but that's a completely different story. I will leave a link below to my blog post about it. Um, and that was awful. So the first miscarriage was hideous. I saw pregnant women everywhere, I hated them all. I went to Ikea and remember just sobbing around Ikea because everyone was pregnant. I'm not even joking, like every single woman I saw was pregnant. It's one of those things that when you've lost something like that, you just see people who are pregnant, what you could have had all over the place. My best friend was also pregnant at the same time and we would actually have been due the same month. Um, and instead of that being hard, that was actually quite nice because I got to see her progress and kind of not go through her pregnancy with her because that would be a bit weird but I was so pleased for her and I really really was so I found the first miscarriage awful absolutely awful awful things happened after it I was treated incredibly badly um, I had support from my family and that was wonderful and I had amazing support from my husband and and I really really appreciated all of that and I think it helped me I even had, when I went to the doctor and said I thought I was having a miscarriage, he said, oh, you probably weren't pregnant anyway. I never saw that doctor any, ever again because 100% I was pregnant and um, lost the baby. So, you know, it was just awful and everything about it was awful. The way I was treated by everyone was awful and I'm just glad that that period of my life is gone. Um, second miscarriage happened about a year later. I think um, and I was upset but I wasn't as upset I didn't have any time off work I didn't really mourn it again it happened quite early on I think about seven weeks and I just kind of felt like it was my body getting ready and getting used to the fact that this is something I wanted to do and I was kind of I was upset, obviously I was upset, but I was okay and I was in a better place in terms of work, who I was working for, all that kind of stuff and I I was alright. Sorry my camera died on me. By the time I had the third miscarriage I had genuinely just seen it as something that was clearly going to happen to me. I had it about six months before I finally conceived my son, who obviously was a normal pregnancy, carried on stuck, stayed, I was petrified throughout that pregnancy, absolutely petrified, not helped by the fact that my best friend had had her baby at 23 weeks, so all throughout that 23 weeks I had my legs crossed basically because I was so scared that it would happen to me. Um, I think miscarriage made me stronger, it made me 
realised just that it wasn't meant to be and I know that's a really really awful thing to say but it wasn't and for me that helped me to deal with it. I know for other people that's really not a helpful thing to say but for me it it just made me realise that wasn't my time, that wasn't my baby. This is going to be, you know, when I get pregnant, if I get pregnant, then that will be my time. That will be the baby that is meant to be for me. And I wish I'd known that you could feel so many different emotions about miscarriage. I wish I'd known that it's okay for it to be okay, because I felt guilty about that when that happened. But also, it's okay for it to be completely not okay. It's okay for it to be the worst thing in the world, for you to completely break down, for you to go off the rails, for you to go out drinking. It is okay. Your reaction to it is your reaction. It's personal, it's yours. And I don't think anyone can have the same reaction. So I, kind, I just wish I'd known that it was gonna be okay, that I would be all right. I know that sounds really dramatic, but I guess at the time it is dramatic. You know, you've started planning in your head for this life that you're going to have with this baby and then all of a sudden the baby isn't there. And that's that's not nice. And I think after the first one, for me, it kind of normalized it. So I was more accepting when it happened the second time and the third time. And by the third time, I just thought, if this is what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen and I'm okay with that. Please let me know your experiences and your comments. I hope that people haven't gone through this, but I know that so many women do go through miscarriage and it's a topic that people don't talk about enough. So we don't know if our feelings are okay. So I think um, it would be great to start a discussion up on this. I hope you've enjoyed this video seems the wrong thing to be saying. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to, please subscribe. I would love to see you subscribe and I will see you again soon. All right, bye.